In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your 3D printer to one-shot print this Captain America helmet. That's right, one shot, one file, 22 hours, one piece. How cool. All I can say to that is, Avengers, assemble. Hey everyone, I'm Sam from Tentacle Prints, and that's right, you read the thumbnail and heard my first 10 seconds crystal clear. Today I'm going to show you what file I used, what filament I used, and exactly how I printed this amazing quality, two-coloured Captain America helmet in one single print. Now the 3D printer I'm using is the Bamboo Labs P1S Combo. Printer. And the word combo is going to come up a few times. All that is, is that means that my printer came with the AMS system, which is the multicolored system that lives on the top of these 3D printers. If you're using something like an A1 or an A1 Mini, you can get this kind of contraption that's an AMS, but it's built off to the side and it holds two to three spools of filament and can swap filament in and out during a print without you having to touch a button. And that is exactly how this guy was made. So this is the file I used for the Captain America mask that this video is all about. Huge credit to the original designer. You did a great job on this for all aspects of this mask. There are two variations to this mask. When you download it, you can either get it with the proper A, the big capital letter A in the front, or the, the newer version that's got this star on the front. Personally, I really like the star look. It's just a bit more modern, um, which is hilarious. It's modern for the oldest Avenger that ever lived. That's hilarious. Full disclaimer, Captain America is my favorite Avenger. So for all of you that want to see a, a full-blown Captain America cosplay, I can do that. I can do that. Although Cap doesn't really have a beard. Redguard does. Maybe I could do that. What do you think? Normally I would download the file, put it into Bamboo Studio and play around with some of the scaling sizes. But I just felt like I could trust this. So I printed this with no scaling, no edits, no nothing, just straight from the Bamboo Handy app, straight to my printer. Now I did put in Bamboo Labs matte blue PLA filament and I used a matte white as well. I was going to use white basic originally, but matte I think just gives it a bit more of a I don't know what the word is. It gives it just, I think, a bit more of a, a authentic look, I think is what I'm trying to go for. It just doesn't make it look super cartoony, where this kind of looks like a helmet that you, you'd probably buy from a replica store somewhere. I was, was very impressed. You know, this was the first helmet I actually printed. Man, it's cool. Now, all you have to do before you print, if you do have an AMS system, is make sure that you've selected the two A selectors that your filament is going to come through. Now my AMS has got four possible ones and actually a fifth on the back which comes from the printer itself when it normally just feeds one through. So I selected I think it was A1 and A3 that I had both of these in which were just the slots, the names that they sit in. So it knew that for A1 it was the blue and then when it got time to swap out the filament and discard any of the uh, excess it would swap over to A3. And it did this seamlessly. Just look at how perfect this has come out. Like seriously i think i started this at night or something maybe i don't know anyway i went off to work and, and i was asking my wife for updates because i was like i just want to i just want to know everything that's going on and she was home at the time but i got super excited as you watch this time lapse and you can see all of the white pieces of this helmet coming in perfectly with no visible blemishes or or distortions it's unreal and 23 and a half hours later, I had a completed mask. Boom, boom, boom. Now granted, I'm probably gonna print off a whole lot more of these. I was thinking I could do a black one with glow in the dark, like A and wings, because that would be sick. It is a little big for my head, but for printing this straight off of the Handy app with doing no edits, I cannot complain whatsoever. So guys, I'll link this in the description below. I'll also link the filaments that I used go for it. I'll link the printer that I've got. This video is not sponsored by Bamboo Labs whatsoever, but hey, Bamboo Labs, if you want a sponsor, hit me up. It's a good day to be an Avenger. Good day. 
Does anyone still watch when I do this? Or is this the, maybe this is why my retention drops. Well, that's it from me. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.